Hi there, it's Chris again, founder of Cary Spotlight, a hyperlocal newsletter here in Cary, North Carolina. It's 44 days to go to the anniversary uh, edition of Cary Spotlight, and I'm here to do a review on what happened um, in our development of Cary Spotlight, and uh, let's get straight into it. So if you've been following along, we've been doing... Uh, seven weeks already um we've uh, covered a, a lot of ground as to how we've made our decisions as to which items go into our newsletter and uh, let's see what lessons we can learn from uh, this uh, seven uh, set uh, of issues so in this one we are focusing on food safety it seems um flood rescue norovirus update in wake county so again these are health issues and uh, here is a, a local business spotlight i recognize the name of the company so right off the bat we are uh, using our uh, spotlight hook question where people will go to the bottom of the newsletter to find out the correct answer uh, to the question uh, we got our crime stories uh, Got a flood rescue, so those are always um, interesting topics. And here again, we have our local business spotlight where we highlight, you know, small businesses in Cary um, to get them more attention or the attention they deserve. So again, people can read up about what the company does and then go to their website. This company doesn't have a, a brick and mortar location, so that's why it only has the link to their website. Otherwise, we would have had the business street location here. Then we have feedback now on how did people find this particular spotlight, whether it was useful or not. And uh, double um, two uh, sports stories as usual, our comic strip or viral meme that kind of serves a place as for the comic strip in the, you know, paper newspaper if you want to call it that way so it's a call back to my to my childhood and having having that in in the newspaper and then we have events again we're still doing the three day look ahead calendar uh, which i've already explained we've changed moving forward for other reasons um here we're going to go with another crime story nc state again unfortunately cr crime happening the reason we put crime in again um it's of interest to a lot of people like stories that people are talking about they you know or, or may not even be aware about uh, aware of what, what, what's going on you know, two people are injured at a fast food restaurant near nc state so again if you have kids at, at college or you work in that area it would be of 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 a point of discussion um daylight assault again People want to know that they're safe, and if there's some criminals running around, they need to know about that. People talk about it, so we bring that in. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. Again, we give shout out to our uh, local business charity, and um, giving people opportunity to go back and reach out to these businesses. And uh, we're talking about last minute gifts. So again, this is a much longer piece than we typically do give people different ideas of gifts and, and being helpful and informative okay um two sports stories viral meme opportunity for people to give us feedback so that's really important to us so we, we tried different ways to collect feedback um what we found is that the reader poll uh people if you give them the correct options they'll actually add more to just a yes no they'll they'll give the reasons why as well so um we've we've abandoned this style of feedback and, and use more the kind of radio button where people can click their vote and then if they want to add more they can add more uh, comments to that so that's something that we, the style that we've moved to uh let's see this one is issue 59 all right it's another local business spotlight so again we have a lot of opportunities to to work with local businesses and tell their story 
and uh, Mickey Mouse was in the news at that time because the old Mickey Mouse uh, patent had expired or copyright had expired and people were able to use it. So that's an interesting thing. Uh, let me see. Yep, here's the local business uh, spotlight um, for this lady and her organization. She has an Instagram channel as well as a website, no, no physical location. So we put that up out there as well as getting feedback on that. Now, um, in the future, you'll see that we've actually changed this question so we can get more kind of uh, a feel if people know this, uh, this business and if they are willing to support it. Here in this case, we were still new to the, the whole, how do we measure um, the impact of our story? So um, that's kind of how, why we did it that way. But so there, there are better ways to do it, obviously. Um, yep, this kind of stays the same format. So again, once you have a format, you know, kind of stick to it, but you, you can tweak and move pieces around to see what works better. And of course, when you look back at it, it's, it's kind of cute. It's almost like looking at your younger self and say, oh, that's nice. But, you know, this is how we do it now. Um, again, we have our hook. Uh, we do have some kind of a affiliate promotion in here, or maybe we're just sending people over uh, to the audiobooks. But uh, this is one of the ways we do it. Um, yes, this is pretty bad again another crime story uh alert about scams so this is very important about the text texting scams so again we're trying to protect our readers um make make sure making sure that they're informed about this um this kind of um phishing story is definitely something that can be repeated because a lot of these scams are still out there going on and probably an update um, to probably new, newer scams that uses text messaging can also be included. So something worth watching. Here we have a local business spotlight. And here, once again, second time, we were able to get a video from this business and uploading to our YouTube channel where we could um, give them extra exposure so people can actually go and watch um, the service being performed. So again, feedback on that. And our two sports stories and uh, three events. Now, again, already spoke about the change in format there. Uh, the, st the stories we're highlighting here is, <laughs> I guess this is like the week of scams. So these are all the holiday scam stories. Um, this is a, a story that we've been following. It's the uh, toxic building or the building that had um people exposed to a chemical hazard at nc state so that's something um that you'll see a couple of times as the story is developing so we are following up on that story um we also have another local business spotlight um and we'll speak about them as well as the uh, lead to here we have a, more like a screenshot that leads to their video that's found on their website or F Facebook so people can click through on to watch that. Mm, the rest of these are pretty standard, nothing special here. And then again, our two specialty editions at the end of the week. So we're talking about small town charm in Cary, so uh, traveling around Cary, doing people coming to Cary to visit. Uh, and we're talking about RDU. We've already said that this is one of our cornerstone or content blocks. So we, might, we always keep a spot for news about RDU. Then uh, we started a, a cruise line subsection in here. So we focus on that. And then Christmas in other countries. And our we continue here with our recipe that we give away. So talking about that. Uh, our survey, how many, how long have you lived? We, so we, we have, still have the old way here of, of asking that question. Um, we have our cruise ship setup. So here in this setup, we do uh, uh, 
we find a walkthrough video of the particular boat or review of it, and then we also have uh, some some written review article about um, that particular ship. So that's pretty cool. And then here we have a recipe. Again, the link is to where you can go straight to making the thing as opposed to reading through the whole long blog article. So that's pretty, that's a time saver right there. And then, hooray, it's Christmas morning. Yes, we we wrote uh, an edition on Christmas Eve, um, short and sweet. Luckily, it was, um, you know, the real estate edition. So we can get the data early, send them actual personalized message about um, wishing them Merry Christmas. And then had the summary of the of the, the the main stories that came out in in the last week on mortgage and real estate right there with links to the source uh, documents. So that's that was pretty cool. Um, and that yeah that was kind of a wrap. So there was not much earth shattering happening in in this particular week. We were just kind of like you know fine tuning how we were doing the layout. Um, and of course, as the new year is going to come in, we're we're going to be seeing some changes in in how we deliver the news and and the kind of different editions that we specialty edition that we're going to be bringing on. Okay, there you go. That's it. That's a wrap for this one. Until next time.